Hello everybody, welcome back. Today it's all about making or creating your own adventures and um, I'm going to be part of that process. I'm going to be here guiding you along the way and hopefully getting some of your ideas as well. But we're going to do a ruined castle today. We've, we've done castles before, we're returning to castles again and I have every uh, belief that we will hopefully do a reasonable job. So my suggestion to you is uh, make sure you are ready because uh, there's, there's lots to do. I'm going to put up a poll. Feel free to take part in that poll if you want to. If you don't, that's fine too. Uh, I'm going to say now you need some food, some drink, get comfortable and uh, I'll go into this fairly quickly. I'm not going to muck around. We've got a lot to get done in a very short space of time. I have a pre-made map for you today to work with and I'll be jotting down a lot of information as we go. Anyway, that being said, I think we should rock into this. Let's get started. Hi, welcome to How to RPG. My name is Fred Weller and today I want to talk about tabletop role-playing games. Could be D&D, Pathfinder, Call of Cthulhu. I don't really care. I don't mind what you're playing, okay? You do your thing. But it's all about the castle as an adventure and how we can write, create, make, build an adventure for you, okay, that you can use or show you how to do it yourself. It's very much about that sort of thing. I'm very much about let's try to create something that you can do just like anybody else. And fairly quickly, fairly swiftly, fairly easily, without too much trouble. Anyway, those of you who know me know very well that uh, when I do this, uh, we, we generally have an approach to everything, which is you are the creator and I am jotting down all the notes. I have a Google document out. I'm not going to be sharing that Google document the whole time because I want to keep you focused on the map. <clears throat> and we're not going to be changing the map, make that clear, okay? Uh, we, we, we are going to work with the map, and I have drawn one up. This is what we have for today. It is essentially a ruined castle. Uh, you'll notice the central room is a an audience chamber or a great hall or a throne room or something like that. We have an, a, a grand entrance is number one. Uh, we have some. We have four different entry points that you could get into the castle from. Actually, five. There's five entry points. So it's truly a ruined castle. There's lots of different ways of accessing it. You don't have to go through the front door if you don't want to, which is kind of fun to to have that going on when you're uh, building your adventure. Some options for your players. Anyway, the first thing we need to do is we need to decide whose abandoned ruined castle this is and i'm assuming this castle has been abandoned and is a ruin of some kind okay so <clears throat> let's get started with the first question whose ruined or abandoned castle is this and say why why might the player characters be going here? <clears throat> that is our first task. Now, there's a format to doing this. I will make it clear. It is not possible to do an event-based adventure, write an event-based adventure in a live stream. It's just not possible. With so many different ideas coming from different directions, it's just a a steaming pile of um, mess. It's just it just winds up being complete shit. So I don't want to do that. Instead, we're we're focusing on the location. Okay, with now with location-based adventures, you still have a plot, but the players create the plot, not the game master, and you still must have a goal. So there's a reason why they need to be here in the first place, and that has to be quite strong. Okay. Uh, you can have multiple goals for why you're there, but you do need to have at least one goal for a location-based adventure. So this is how I want you to structure things. <clears throat> Hashtag um, room number. Start with the room number for the area that you have picked. Okay, I will describe this location a little bit more and sort of give you an idea. If it's not clear where everything is, you'll find it on my Discord. Uh, server, you'll find the map, you can actually go and have a look at that, and if you need to download that map, map you can from Discord. This is what you want to try to do, okay, is you want to write in a few things. What are the features of that location or room? 
What are the features? Uh, noises. Maybe there's some noises that are very important. Maybe there's furniture, and with a, a location like this, we're probably going to come across some furniture, okay, compared to some of the other adventures where we just didn't ever find any furniture. So furniture, um, <clears throat> odors, maybe if there's some odors that we might be dealing with. Uh, monsters. We might want to have some traps here. Some hazards. It's a ruined castle, so the hazards may be more of a factor than traps. Then treasure, things for them to find. It doesn't have to be just gold and magic items. could be all sorts of things. We might have some NPCs. Somebody might have be, be a squatter in this place. Somebody we can talk to, possibly, or not talk to. Maybe there's a puzzle involved. Keep that simple, okay? Puzzles. Maybe objects that are of importance, and etc. <coughs> So while you're writing down all your ideas, I'll be pulling them over, uh, and I'll be doing that in a second. I said Fred Huber's put here, a curse on the, the PC's family leads to it originating with an ancestor who, who worked at this castle. Okay, the Baron Ultimort was known for cruelty and excessive taxation. Last owner of the castle. The castle of Baron von Blutz. Blutstropfen. Oh, what a name. Okay, all right. Well, there's a couple of different names here. There's a couple of different ideas we can work with. Anyway, so first off, so that you know what we've got here, the, the front entrance has two staircases leading up onto a, a sort of a platform. Uh, there, there's a statue there. In front of it is a small room with a door. And... Uh, that I'm, I'm assuming is going to be like a an archer's post. So there's a door to enter it from the outside, an archer's post. Uh, we have a door that leads into 13 from area 1. That is probably going to get us through a, a guard post of come, some kind or a guard room. or you know, It's going to be probably a guard room. You're going to have somebody to stop people from getting into the main throne area, right? And then we have uh, some various areas. So area 2 is a broken away part, a section of the castle. Six is a sort of a, a partly open um, chamber that's mostly, you know, part of the, the broken wall. Um, four, you'll see there's another entrance. It's sort of the back door there has been broken. Whatever door was there is no longer there anymore. It's in pieces. Number five has two doors, okay, that are still intact. And I'm suggesting that are probably locked and rusty. Uh, we have area three. It's another entrance. There's a bit of breakage around here as well, but there is a door that leads in as well uh, from a different angle, which, of course, in many respects, um, you'd wonder why it has it has any purpose whatsoever, but it does lead into... Three leads into nine and then into ten, so you can access the uh, a different part of the castle. And it also leads back onto area one, which is sort of like... Mm, I don't know. I don't know. It's a little bit weird, that one. Okay, area 18 looks like a great huge eye. I'm going to suggest it's some sort of gallery. And uh, we have area 22. Looks like the head of a dragon that's either spewing out water or something into a, maybe a pond or whatever on a platform or a pedestal or something like that. There's some statues in the corner. It's quite a large chamber. Um, area 11 looks like it's got cobwebs and um, barrels and crates. And area 17, you can see there are circles. So there's definitely barrels. I think this is a storage room of some kind. So there's a few things we can do with it that were kind of already sort of spelled out for us. I've marked 23 as a room, but it's more of a corner of a passageway. Okay. Uh, whether we want to do very much with that or not, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, so uh, that's, that's to get you sort of started. I will start taking down some of your suggestions, Fred Huber. Fred Huber is a patron. And how, so is Derp, actually. Thank you for being here. <clears throat> let's uh, let's chuck down some of your suggestions. And that will help us formulate the rest of our adventure. Now, while I'm doing this and jotting down your suggestions and ideas and trying to integrate it all, I'm updating a, a Google Doc, which I will show you, but not right this very second. <sighs> The reason being is I always find that that kind of, it's too hard for me to do in a live stream and make it all work, so I don't do it that way. 
And the other reason for, for not doing it that way is I, I know you'll get distracted and I don't want to get distracted. Um, the D D D D D D D D and here. All right, so I'm doing a lot of cutting and pasting and dropping things back and forth as I go to get your ideas in. And I think we have established that it is definitely a, a castle owned by some sort of baron. <laughs> <clears throat> right, I need some water, a lozenge. I'm going to go over, as we're doing this, I'm going to go over some of the, the concepts of building a castle adventure, because I've covered this before. This is not the first time, but um, 22. Somebody's already got 22 figured out. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'll be writing up some of my own stuff as I go, depending on how quiet things get. But I will be discussing sort of different areas and locations you can include in a castle. What sort of um, defences you might have, things like that. Those are definitely things that I'm going to discuss. Okay. Although the castle is ruined, it is regularly swept clean by a lingering unseen servant. Interesting. So, I think that is a, a feature of this location. What you've described to, the, to me is almost sort of like a part of a feature of the main location. So we will keep that entry and put that in there under main features. And then we got our... Our hat's got to come off. It's got to come off. Sounds like an old dead. Like old dead. Oldermort. Oldermort. Oz and as an I know what you're doing here. <laughs> ha ha. Ha ha. Now I get it. Hello, Calrel. How are you? The grand entry. Yes. Um, and you've got here a suggestion for how that might look, Fred Huber. Now I want to make it clear you do not need to describe in great detail a location. Sometimes it's better to keep it fairly vague or just give them the absolute vital information that you need. Otherwise you're going to wind up biting off more than you can chew. And I've discovered this as I was working on last week's one. Chipped and broken marble statues displaying the family line. line Castle line, castle line of the castle, ca, um, the family line of the castle owner. Okay, chipped and broken marble statues displaying the family line of the castle owner. <coughs> castle owner. Um. <coughs> I'll scattered around the entrance. Okay. <clears throat> most are no longer, most of the statues are no longer, okay, most of the statues are no longer recognizable. They were purposely defaced. Okay. Because because they were defaced. <coughs> People didn't like them, clearly. So there's there's an aspect to that done there. We need to add in something about stairs. So uh, two <coughs> stone on our oh, let's go with yeah two stone uh, staircases. Cases join in the middle, middle leading, whoopsie, leading so ending at a large. Uh, let's say, do we want 30 foot, 20 foot, 20 foot high <clears throat> platform? Uh, 
Um, okay, I think that's got our entrance sorted out. Well done. Nice job. I'm impressed. Uh, 22. Now you've marked 22. We're just 22. 22. Anti-magic glyphs in the throne room. I don't think 22 is a throne room. I think you'll find that 16 is the throne room. There's two chairs there on a pedestal. 22 is, our, is an odd mix, whatever's going on there. Uh, the butter seller could be, absolutely. Let's let's take 22 as anti-magic glyphs. Anti-magic glyphs. And you've got throne room, and I don't think it's going to be throne room. I think it's going to be something else. So 22, I'm just going to put down here anti-magic glyphs. Okay, you can have it in 22, but it could be in 16. You let me know. I'm not too sure what you want to do with that. Uh, 22. And paste. All right, cool. <clears throat> well, how am I going to work, work with that? 17. 17, yes, is the, the butter seller. Butter's full of wine. We are stored here. They are all dried up or turned to vinegar by now. Yep, absolutely. I think you got the right idea. <clears throat> For those of you who are wondering what the heck he's going on when he says butter seller, Basically, it's just another name for a wine cellar. It's pretty much that. There's, there's not much else to it. Uh, let's go here. Do, do, do. Yeah, this long. room is full of wine they were stored here they have all dried up and turned to vinegar by now turned to vinegar. okay cool got that you guys are moving fast today I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a chance to very quickly types of adventures with castles if I haven't haven't or I haven't sort of sort of gone over before I'm doing it really quickly We've done the Stronghold Castle before, which is used by the player characters as a home base or as a starting location, right? Like keeping the Borderlands used as a castle as a starting location. Or it can be a player's home base. <clears throat> still part of your adventure, you can still do a lot more and a lot with it. There's also the infiltration, so you have a, a, a completely um, intact castle that isn't ruined, where you have to infiltrate it to steal something, rescue a prisoner or assassinate an important, important individual. We're not doing that one today. There's also laying siege to a castle to take control of it or destroy it because it's a threat or it has military significance. And we're not doing that one today. What we're doing is exploring the abandoned or ruined castle that is occupied by monsters and humanoids that are squatting there. That's essentially the idea of what we're doing with today, dealing with today. Okay. <clears throat> uh, 22, you've got 22 is the um, fish hatchery mundane magic fish. Okay, yes. I'm going to put a fish hatchery in here. There seems to be some sort of watery pond going on here from that mouth. Whether that's the mouth of a dragon or some sort of creature, I think it's like the head of a dragon there, essentially. Which is a bit strange, I know. But I put it in there because I thought it would be fun. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I like that look at that. I'm sure they'll figure it out. Anyway. So we have a fish fish hatchery, magic fish. Hatchery, mundane and magic fish. So Okay, so we've got a, some sort of pull. Okay. All uh, right. Okay. Next. Keep going. I'm gonna keep moving. Always. Otherwise, I fall behind, and you guys just jump. Love the map, Fred. Seen this um, style on a D26 dungeon. I'm sure you have. Hello, prepare, cook, and survive. It's been. How you doing, Steve? Stuart. Stuart, not Steve. Stuart. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. You know. You know. I got an issue. <laughs> Um, 18. You want to make 18? Where is 18? 
18 is this big sort of area. It has some sort of something. There's an eyeball or an eye there or something on the floor or something like that. So it's it's quite... I think that's actually not a bad idea. The the Court Magician Mage's Corner. Ruined... So Arcane ruin, Runes... Runes. This would be Runes. Are etched in the walls of this once in a richly adorned room. I believe... I get the idea. I get the gist of what you're trying to do there. And I'm all for it. Let's uh, let's make that happen. Um, why am I out of whack? I'm out of whack for some reason. I know. I know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I've added in something that shouldn't be there. So I just need to take that out. Put this in. Okay. Court Magician's Corner. Court Mage's Corner. Uh, so the, let's do this. Uh, this huge, it is a huge room. Huge triangular shaped room too. This, hu this huge triangular chamber. Has multiple entries. Um, <clears throat> arcane runes. So let's get this right. Runes. Runes are etched on the walls and floor. Of this once richly adorned room. Yes. Okay. I got the gist of that. Got it down. Well done. Pale Rider. Yes, we were waiting for you, Pale Rider. Um, I'll tell you, mate. Pale Rider, last week's um, adventure that we put together that had all of the human sacrifice, should I say child sacrifice, going on. Uh, <laughs> I, st I, re I realized... Why you had gone in that direction, and there was all sorts of stuff. It was peppered everywhere. Um, so we, we're not dealing with child sacrifice today, Pale Rider. I'll just make it clear, okay? We're, we're moving. I, I, I think if we go, we don't want to discriminate. If we're going to have sacrifice, it should be men, women, and children, okay? To be fair. Otherwise, we're leaving people out. Of all creeds. Of all creeds. So, <laughs> oh dear. So yes, we're dealing with a, a barren, it's an abandoned ruined castle. Uh, I've kind of already sort of mentioned to a few people a few bits of, bits of information. If you're confused about stuff, let me know. Feel free to put in your, um, your two cents. I know you will. <laughs> it's going to happen. Uh, six, dead squatter. Now, that's an interesting one. Now, where is, where is six? Oh, see, yes, the dead squatter. A dead squatter holding a stick is slumped over over himself in the corner of this chamber. Oh, okay, yes, okay, we've got a dead person. They've, they've obviously frozen to death, or something like that. Six. Bum, bum, bum. I've decided that um, number eight is going to be the archer's post. Or guard room or whatever. The arching the archer post, whatever you call it. Okay, so I've got that one down. <clears throat> I'm gonna run, run out of things. We want three to be stables. Why would three be stables? There's no stables there. A garden? Two? Two would be a garden. Um I just marked down, so what I did with number two is I just marked down that it was the smash smashed wall. So it's just it's just a real brief sort of you know this is this is another entry point into the castle it's not going to be that complicated i think i can probably manage that myself actually a butter is a certain size keg yes butter is like a big barrel right i'm thinking cursed you auntie might live here yes we well could look you guys can stick whatever the heck you like here just do me a favor i've had enough of I've had enough of um, dragons, okay. We have a dragon statue, I know, in a room. I've had enough of dragons. I've had enough of liches. 
and I had enough of mind flayers. So give me something else. Give me something else. Come on, bring it on. Um, I like you auntie having him taken over, worshipping at the um, the magic fish pool. <laughs> okay. 21. 21, what is 21? 21, it, this has got a secret door in it. So there's an entry point, but there's also a secret door, which to many in many respects is like, why was there a secret door there in the first place? Is it really necessary? Magically complex lock on the southern door defies the knock spell. MacGuffin is here to solve the curse and disturbed over a century. Okay, I'm I'm fine I'm fine with that. What is this room though? If we're going to stick a, a a lock on it that can't be stop um can't be picked and it can't be opened by the knock spell, that means they have to find the secret door really to get in. So the question is here. What the heck is 21? What's in 21 that's so important? Hmm? Is this the is this a treasure chamber? Is this a treasure vault? Is that what we're talking about here? 21. So I'm marking down your suggestions here, but I, I still want to know what the heck that room is. I get the feeling that we're putting a treasure vault there, but I don't know. Was that your intention? Maybe, maybe not. Do you know? Do you not know? I'm sure you do. <laughs> 21, 22, okay, we're doing, we're doing nicely. Uh, let's go back here. Next, gardens. We could put gardens somewhere, but I don't know where we'd put gardens. What, what would be gardens? I'm gonna put down here two gardens, and I'm not too sure what to do with it. Three stables, I might just put that in the notes section for now. Uh, paste. Sometimes I use this stuff, sometimes I don't. It just depends on how hard it is to incorporate it. Uh, okay. 21 is a vault. It's a treasure chamber. Okay, it's a treasure vault. Fine, done. We'll do that. Okay. 21 is a treasure vault. 21. Okay, so, okay, this, uh, wreck, 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 angular, um, uh, I know what I'm going to do, uh, green, brick, Chamber is full uh, is full of piles of treasure. Okay. The Okay. Cut. Southern door has, I'm getting there people, um, are we putting a, uh, when you say MacGuffin here, are we putting an artifact here? I get the feeling that you're putting an artifact in the treasure vault. The southern door has, has a magically complex lock, lock that defies the knock spell that defies that defies let's just put here spells and lock picks <laughs> it can't be it can't be opened in that way um it's undisturbed for over a century so we've got quite a lot going on there okay cool cool uh, did I have stables down? I had some three stables. I think I, yeah, I did. I put that down there. So I just remember I got to that point. 
Uh, let me just update our our location by just putting this prompt in here again. We still don't have 16 the throne room or the audience chamber or the great thing. Forget about a moat. We're not putting a moat on it. I'm not drawing a moat. It's not happening. Okay. <laughs> the, map, the map is the map. <laughs> the idea is that you'd be able to be a construct it quickly and then, then you go. If you have to keep redrawing the map because you made changes, it's just, it doesn't work. Yeah, area two and area three look like they're outside something that would have been there. Uh, possibly. I see what you're trying to do. So it's like an old, yeah, that's a, okay, that, I get where you're doing, going now, um, Dirt. I understand what you're trying to do. That's that's actually not a dumb idea at all. That's, uh, so we need to include something with that. Nice. Um, 16. I'm going to come back to 16 in a second. 18. 18. What is what is 18? Where is 18? I don't even remember. 18. Here we go. Add on a dais in the center that has a orb floating above it with two pillars on each side. Two pillars on each side and a large steel mirror to the north. What are you up to, Pale Rider? He's put a question mark there. This usually means there's something going on. Um, <laughs> okay. All right, I'll put it in. And that is 18. Paste. A dais in the center. Let's get it into center. Center has an orb floating an orb. Or floating above it with two pillars, two pillars, word two pillars, two pillars on each side and a large steel mirror to the north, full stop. There's a bit of a story going on there in there. Okay, 23, Cal Rell's got 23, I'm kind of, a, an adventuring, a party of adventuring kobolds cam uh, um, camping, camping, resting. Oh, okay, so you want to put some kobolds resting here. They've managed to get in. And we've given them the the, the corner. <laughs> it's at the corner room. They're in the corner room. <laughs> nice. Twenty twenty three. All right. Let's let's here. Put this down. Uh, so this is a cobalt camp. Cobalt camp, basically. Our venturing cobalts. Cobalts is resting on uh, blankets and eating dried meat. I think I think that sort of if you want to do more of that, you let me know. Uh, yes, eight has slits for archers to shoot into one. Or 16. The, the, yeah, the, oh, that is evil. You evil person, you. Let's put that in. <laughs> uh, yes, let's, let's make that. So there's slits on either side. That is a, that's a, like, that's a, that's, a, that's an awful situation. Is there actually body, anybody in it right now? That's the question, right? Uh, okay. Um, the, our 23, 23, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm trying to keep it, keep it all together, but I'm, I might come apart at some point. So let's just see how this works. Um, this, this long, uh, long guard room, guard room, um, has a secure, locked iron door and then Fred Huber's suggestions going in uh, where are we uh, there are uh, four Now, 
what's it called? It's not called an arch, a slit, an arch, a window. It's oh, why am I getting stumped on it? Slits. It's 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 a thing. It's a thing. Arch post. It for the life of me, it's it's I've lost it. Four slits for arches to shoot into area. One or two, and there are four slits for arches to shoot into area one or or sixteen. There are four slits. There are four slits on either. <laughs> Let's do that on either either side of the room for archers to shoot into area 1 or 16. Okay, all right, done that. Got there, took me a little while. You know how it is. Um, 21 is the vault. Yes, 21 is a vault. That is the treasure vault. So we've got that sorted. Uh, 2 and 3 look like the outside. I need to, I need to tidy that up. I'll, I might have to do a little bit of work, but I'll figure it out. Surrounding the entire castle is a moat, dried up but full of undead vampire alligators. Okay, surrounding it. It'll, main features. You're not going to let go of this, are you? I can tell. <laughs> is a... That, it wants to put moat. Not No, is it a moat or a boat? It's a boat. <laughs> it's got to be a boat, right? Anyway, how are we doing? We're doing pretty well. We have a quite a few different locations filled out. I'm going to have to do some updating for you in a second. Uh, 16. 16. Uh, monster sits on the, on the throne. What monster sits on the throne? There's a monster sitting on the throne in 16, but we, we like, which, which monster are we talking about? Create that monster. Uh, paste. I don't know what monster we're talking about here, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. It's up to, I like it. I, I bet you do. Um, the Grand Hall. Now, one, the Grand Hall, haunted by ghosts that want to possess an adventurer to dance in their body. Uh, one is actually an entryway. So if you look at one, there's sort of like a, a, a statue at the bottom of the stairs. Then there's two sets of stairs that converge into one set of stairs going up into a platform. And this platform has got a well, sort of a weird shape to it. Uh, it does have like a balcony to it as well. So you don't fall off and kill yourself. And we've made it 20 feet high. So I think... Your one idea, Grand Hall, we need to find a Grand Hall to put your ghosts, because right now, I think one is probably not the right place, because it's not really a Grand Hall. Uh, okay, let's just grab this. And I'll drop this in here. I'm not sure what to do with that yet. The Grand Hall. Uh, oh. <coughs> okay. Next, uh, murder hole. You want a murder hole? Michael Riggs wants a murder hole. Hello, Michael. How are you? Uh, 19. 19. Where is 19? 19 is a small room to the north and uh, court magician's compound storage. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. I'm, I'm all for that. You want to put that back there? We'll do that. Nobody wants to deal with um, two, three, four, or five because they're like boring. Just leave them to me. Just do the other stuff, guys. I, I totally get it. I totally get it. It's all fine. It's good. Uh, 19. Let's put 19. I'm going to have to do an update. Um, let's, let's call it magic storage. Uh, the court magician. Magicians. Magicians, components, components and potion storage. <laughs> okay. 
um, many of the potions uh, have uh, dried up or are a <laughs> hundred years old. That's concerning. <laughs> okay, all right, so done 19. Very good. Uh, I'm going to do a quick show you in a second, or oh, if I can keep up with you. Uh, I want to dance by the pale moonlight. Oh, here we go. It's a, it's a Batman reference. Um, of course, for you auntie R in 8 to give invaders a hard time. 8. Um, area 8. Area 8. Oh, you want to put you auntie in there? For you auntie. Okay. All right, let's do this. So four Yuanti archers guard the front of the ruined castle. Okay, all right. I feel like we're going with Yuanti today. Um, murder hole. Oh, that's what Michael was going on. It was murder hole. It's called a murder hole. <laughs> Arrow slit is called an arrow loop. Is it an arrow loop? I believe you, Fred, you probably do know this, so. Um. Okay, so that's that's good, we've got that. Plenty of coverage. Um, 16. Where's, what's, where's 16? Where's, what's gone into 16? He's got vampires here again. Um, um, 16. Oh, it's the main chamber. Two vamp vampiric yuanti with four arms and lower bodies. Okay. All right. So we have just filled. So he's he, we're going vampiric undead yuanti. Oh, God. Geez. Yeah. Should have guessed. All right. Paste this. I'll come back to that. Okay, so that's that's fine. We'll, we'll have to do a little work with that, but that's fine. Uh, next, I need to do an update, show you what we've got. One, one couldn't be called Grand Hall. It's another name for the same thing. Ah, oh, I see. Uh, Grand Hall, Grand Entry. Yeah. So I'll just move some stuff around there. And the name for the same thing already assigned here. Okay, 11. You've you've got eleven spiders, crab spiders nest with oh okay. We're putting crab spiders, which is basically just a spider really. Let's get real. Just, a spider's a spider. <laughs> what is this room? What is this room? Number eleven. What is this room? I mean, we know what's in it, but what was it used for? Hmm. Um, crab spider, spider nest with six adults and a clutch of hungry babies. <laughs> okay, all right. Let me do an update. Okay, I'm going to put in here this, and then I'm going to show you what we've got so far and update you on the rooms because I, it's been just over half an hour, and I think it's we were definitely overdue for doing a an update. So I will. So I'm putting in this, and then I'm going to shuffle over to our document and show you what we have. Ugh, so many moving parts. Tell you, man. The last thing you want to do is live stream. <laughs> it is complicated. Anyway, here we go. This is what we have here so far. I know it looks kind of sparse. Don't worry, it'll all work out in the end. Uh, we've done area one. Um, area two and three kind of got some ideas. I just haven't had a chance to do the, the garden um, and the, uh, the the stable idea and the, the broken walls and stuff that I need to describe. We'll get there. Um, four is a broken door at the very back of the castle. 
Uh, five is another area. It's like there's two doors there. I'll, I'll deal with that. Don't worry about those. That's all right. I'll deal with like, you know, two, three, four, and five. I can deal with them. Um, let's focus on the other stuff. Six, we've got dead squatters. It's, uh, and then uh, seven, it has not been covered. Okay. Eight is the archer post. Okay. And then nine, ten haven't been done yet. Eleven is, we don't know what this room is for yet, but there are crab spiders in there, as you would expect in any place, right? Crab spiders. 12, 13, 14, and 15 haven't been done. The Great Hall, we've started to get some information in there. We don't have like a description of what it looks like and so forth, but we know there's two Yuanti, two vampiric Yuanti with four arms uh, and the body of a serpent and then 10 random Yuanti worshippers. So we, we know who, we've got, we've got some, a king and a queen, I suppose. Um, we have a, a butter seller uh, in 17. 18 is the the court mage's corner, which is basically was used to do whatever magical shite uh, you'd do in a castle, I guess. Um, and then we have 19 is the mage, the magic storage, where we have components and so forth, 10 years old. Okay, potions, components... I haven't filled it out that much. It's just a basic idea. 20 hasn't been done, but 21 is a treasure vault that has got a lock on it and magic, so you can't use magic, but it has a secret door. So we need to include some information about that secret door. Uh, so I need to put down here, uh, there is a secret door. There is a secret, let's go secret sliding wall that can be accessed accessed by question question mark <laughs> we'll get there eventually uh, 22 is the I'm just gonna call it the dragon chamber I don't know what else to call it we've got a pool of water we've got some fish mundane magical anti-magic glyphs I don't know how that all comes together but we'll get there eventually 23 is cobalt camp 24 and 25 have not been determined, and then I have some notes to still work with, which I'll get to eventually. So we're doing all right. The time frame, doing all right. So back to here, <laughs> back over here. This is where we need to be. This little uh, endeavor. <clears throat> I'm going to have to talk a little bit about castles again, aren't I? I'm sure. 11. Used to be the kitchen, broken casks and crates used to have food. Okay. 11. Where is 11? 11 used to... Oh, okay, a kitchen. That would make sense because you would still have a kitchen area. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm all for that. Let's do that. 11 is a kitchen. The old kitchen. And then we just need to put in a bit of a description, which we've got. Paste. Uh, uh, this. Uh, dust and uh, cobweb covered uh, room used to be the kitchen. Broken casks and crates. Are stacked. Now where are they stacked? They are stacked in the corners. Stacked. Against. Against. Uh, against. One wall. One wall. I think that's that. That's it. So we just need to. I just want to sort of trim down some of this. Um, broken casks and crates. Crates are empty. Uh, but used to 
contain food are stacked against one wall. Against one wall. Uh, and then we've got the crab spiders. Okay, cool. That's 11. Done. Nice. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, jeez, you guys. That was quick. <laughs> Michael Fraker. Is it Fraker? Fraker? I think I got it. Michael Fraker. You let me know. Hi, chat. Is the text on the right a reminder of what to do for each room? It is. Fred. I uh, know, not Fred. Michael Fraker. You're exactly right. It's when you pick a room and you're doing something, you don't have to do all that stuff because that's too much. It's to remind you that when you're you're doing your room design and you're creating your rooms for your adventures, think features, noise, furniture, odor, monsters, traps, hazards, treasure, NPCs, puzzles, objects. Not all of them. You are correct. Uh, because I, 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 what I find in these live streams when we're trying to do this is people get sidetracked and they start creating little plots and stories and it just doesn't work in a live stream. It's always better to go location, couple of goals, let the players create the plot. Do you know what I mean? Okay, let's have a look here. Uh, 18. 18. If the orb is activated, the GM's discretion on what that activation is, uh, the the steel mirror becomes a portal to one of the lower lamb planes two on a two on a okay what's this two on a d6 something comes through oh <laughs> okay oh i see what you're trying to do here pale rider you're a naughty let's put it in <laughs> i gotta write it up though um there's a little bit going on there Okay, so I'm going to come back to that. There's a lot going on there. I see what you're trying to do with it, but I need to update the list because I haven't updated the list and you guys have chucked in a lot of stuff here. So let me update the list. A hashtag, 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 rooms, rooms that have not, have not, come on, not been done. Ugh. <laughs> okay, let me try to update these these locations. All right, let's do that, and then I'll get back to the getting your ideas down. Um, so we're dealing with two, three, okay, uh, two, three, okay. This is this is it. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's those ones, followed by seven, nine, ten. Seven, nine, and ten, followed by, <laughs> there's a few, um, 12, 13, 14, 15, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, come on, uh, and then, re remember, we don't want to get, we don't want to leave, leave anything out, 20, and then 24, 25. 20, 24, and 25, 25. Okay, there's my updated list. I like the way to unlock 21. <laughs> oh dear. All right, let's, let's have a look and see what you guys have cooked up. Somebody's cooked up something, I can see it now. Okay, let's uh, see. Da -da -da -da. 21. Secret sliding wall has a very well hidden latch requiring two people to simultaneously turn wall sconces. Yeah, why not? That is nice and simple as a puzzle. And a uh, yeah, that's 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 good. Let's do that. No problems. Happy with that completely. 21. Paste. Uh, there is a, there is a, well hidden, hidden secret sliding wall. Wall that can be accessed by. By. 
by two people, two people simultaneously turning wool sconces, sconces in the passageway. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, and, and I haven't. I, you might be. You might be thinking. But why didn't you put down? What's the check to make that you have to do to find the thingy, thingy, thingy? I'm not worrying about that sort of stuff. Does that make sense? <laughs> it, it doesn't have to make sense to you, but I, I'm just not putting mechanics in. Um, let's put some rock grubs somewhere. Oh my gosh, I had rock grubs last time, derp. Do you want to put more rock grubs? Where are you going to put rock grubs? Mm, my gosh, where are the rock grubs going to go? Um, got to come up with an idea. I haven't even had a chance to talk about how to build castles or anything. I've just been trying to keep up with you guys. This is the usual story. This is the way. <laughs> I feel like the Mandalorian. Um, not really. <laughs> anyway, opens easy from the inside. I bet it does. From the inside, it probably does. But you got to get in there in the first place, right? So... <laughs> uh, paste. The sliding wall opens easily from the inside <laughs> okay all right i put it in i'm sure you're happy now okay cool um next there's a little bit of stuff going on here people are uh now 14 14 does feel like now i've i feel like 13 has to be a a guard a guard room like you know, it would be, it would just not make any sense not to have that be a guard room. Because there's not like double doors leading into the main, main um, chamber. Like there's a, there's a room that you have to go through to get to it. So, um, so yes. 14 it could be, yes. The royal bedroom locked, um, smalling, okay. Let's do this. Copy. 14, where is 14. 13. 13, it's got to be a guard room. We just need a description of what that might be like. I think the door on there is going to be locked. I don't think it's going to be open. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, paste. The real bedroom. Dum, dum, dum. Bedroom. And locked the door to this to this to this um, square chamber it's a bedroom with a simple lock okay the simple lock okay right let's do that um Oh God! Yeah. Okay. This is. This feels like. What does he call it? Um, is it the return of Bagel or is it the return of um, Bargle or the the Revenge of Bargle? I don't know what the heck it's called. Uh, we were playing it as Basic Big Me um, Adventure at some point with Wally and the others. I can't remember. Anyway, it reminds me of this. There is a. There. There are. There are two decaying corpses of the Baron and, and Consort uh, lying on a double 
What's that type of beard? You know, those double sort of, uh, I can't remember what they're called. Double beard, I guess, double, double beard. Infested with rock grubs. <laughs> you got your rock, rock grubs in now. Uh, simple lock. Um, with grubs. Infested with rock grubs. Okay. I think the rock grubs have made it in. They are infesting a corpse. And that makes a good place to put our bedroom. I'm, uh, I'm fine with that. That's good. That's awesome. Lovely. Doing nicely. Thank you very much. Uh, one now one of the vampiric uh, you auntie has a mummified hand that can be used to open the door if it is placed on the door and the baron's family creed is spoken around creed is inscribed on the back jeez there's a lot of information on 21 okay so there's there's um, is it area one Oh, oh, hang on. He has a mummified hand that can be in twenty nine scribe and created on the basis of sexual area. Oh, I see. I see. That that's that's a that's a huge amount of information, but uh, let's see if I can transfer that in and then decipher it all. <sighs> Paste. You guys have gone into a lot of detail on this and there's hardly any description of what the heck the treasure is <laughs> do you, do you, have you noticed I know I have I've noticed you guys haven't mentioned anything about the treasure we often have a problem with these adventures where there just isn't enough treasure lying around okay Uh, the creed is inscribed on the statue base in area one. Base in area one. Okay, so there's that. Well, well that, that now means I've got to go back and deal with that at some point. Is that for area one? Is it confusing? Is it area one? <sighs> There's so much. I think my, some of the numbers have gotten a bit confused. Just so much going on here. And I, I'm, I, now I'm actually wondering about what you've just given me there because I'm like, does that make sense? Uh, let's go here, cut. And yeah. I don't think it's area one you're talking about. I think you're trying to talk about a different area. I'm confused. I'm a little confused. Okay. All right. This, this happens. Uh, now, the Baron's corpse is in 14 is notably missing its hand. Oh, okay. All right. So that is for the bedroom. You guys are feeding off each other. It's it's like a, a runaway train. Um, now, 14, since we got 14. The Baron's corpse in, in, uh, is notably missing its hand. There we go. I've put that into the area, which is 14. So it needs to live. Seven. Seven. Seven is a strange place. Like it's a weird looking room. It's like a curved room. Like groundkeeper's quarters. Uh, information about the area found. Okay, that's okay. Fine. Put groundkeeper there. Groundkeeper's quarters. Says a seven. Oh, and now we've hit the hour mark, so we're halfway through. Uh. Round keepers quarters. I might just call it actually let's go here. Cut. Garden is quarters. I'm just gonna call it gardener's quarters. Okay. Gardener's quarters.
Uh, information about the area about the area can be found here along with with the long dead groundskeeper. Okay, got that. This odd uh, shaped curved room has a do we put a hammock in here? Has a hammock hammock ham hammock hanging from the ceiling. Okay, all right. I think we've got that one sorted. Mostly, mostly, mostly. Oh, here we go, Michael. Your contribution to twelve, which is a tiny, tiny little room. It's like a, it's like a, a little bit of a fart of a room, really. It's the smallest room in the place. Uh, and you've got quite a bit of information there. <laughs> let's let's see what we've got here. I'm kind of curious. Um, area twelve. Area 12, which is a tiny, tiny room. <laughs> uh, paste. So, so rotten wooden shelves, half full and, and broken bits of pottery among the debris, along with two completely intact but delicate, valuable dishes buried in the rubble. Due to... Dun, dun, dun. Uh, okay. I feel like it's a um, it almost feels like it's a it's a cleaner's cupboard or something like that. What what would be a good word for that? Okay. Um Mmm, clean as something. It's like you. This is. It's like the the broom and mop area. That's what I keep thinking, but I don't know what else to. Yeah. Okay. All right. Not sure. Not sure. But we've got a, the beginning of something there. I'll figure out what to do with the rest of it later. Um, I've not yet seen the Mandalorian, Fred Huber. That's fine. It's all right. I will not give away any spoilers if you have not seen it, and you, maybe you're planning to see it. Seven. Seven is the dead groundskeeper projectile vomited rot grubs at the party when approached. I think we've got enough rot grot rot grubs. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you really, you really are. How is it that the, that the dead groundskeeper is the one who vomits projectile? Why can't we just do that with the, the bedroom? Do you know what I mean? Infestible rock grubs. It's a missing hand. And then we just do, do this. Um, the... The, the corpses... Projectile vomit rot grubs at the party when approached. <laughs> That's in the bedroom. There we go. We're making the bedroom thing. <laughs> uh, uh, doors on 13 are heavy and iron barred. Of course they are. If they're not, um, can be locked with massive iron bars so the guards uh, get time to use ranged versus intruders. Yes, I agree. I think there should be a, um, a bar on it that uh, makes it just much harder to get in. Absolutely. Totally for that. For poster bed. Canopy bed. That's the one. Canopy bed. Thank you, Pale Rider. Okay. Uh, yes. 13. Uh... The doors, the door. The 
door to this. Uh, medium sized. Medium sized chamber has a heavy um, the iron door the heavy iron door <laughs> try to get there Fred the heavy iron door to this medium sized chamber has a has a uh, has chamber is locked with a massive iron bar so the guards get time to use ranged um, massive bar that's all we need to say or select a guest so let's let's just do that uh, that's that's good we've got our 13 has got an iron bar we probably want to have what is there anything in there that's the thing canopy bed I need to remember canopy bed before I, I get lost again canopy bed um, uh, has a lying on a double canopy canopy bed vested with rock rubs <laughs> that's it we got that one done nice 12 continued god are we continuing 12 there is a continuation michael's not finished <laughs> all right michael um we will i'm dumping it into 12 i'll figure out how to make it all work at some point all things spoken in the main uh, throne room can be heard in the small space if, if the door from 13 is open door from 13 is open if the door from 13 is open oh I see I see what you're trying to do here okay all right well wow, okay the cupboard became very, very important. Canopy bed, canopy, double cabinet, canopy bed. Okay. Well, I, I, I am so far behind, it is not even remotely funny just how far behind I am. It's quite hilarious, actually. So uh, let me just do another prompt here and keep going. I'm going to have to do another update, and I probably should very, very shortly. <laughs> since there is so much information to, to, to grab it's a good thing I don't have don't have to track the map and the my yeah anyway I won't even go into it it's not worth it okay next canopy bed banner from creed all of all the loot all the time all the loot all the time really this is the creed All the loot, all the time. God. It smells like hot gra hot stone and tall grass. Where is that supposed to go, Derp? I don't... I'm not sure. Oh, 24. You're talking about 24. Ah, room 24. Somebody's decided to pick something. So I feel like the... This is area... Back to one. Uh, not to run this place, a family line, blah, blah, choosh. The Baron families, families, and this creed. is um, carved onto the um, ground level statue 
all the time, all the loot, all the time. Okay, all right. Okay, I got it. Got it. <sighs> okay, next. Moving along. Uh, 24, purple mold. It tastes like spicy fruit, sweet, and oh, you're going to put purple mold into 24. What is purple? What is 24, though? I mean, it's a room. It's got a door on it. And we've got purple mold there, but we don't. I don't know anything else about this. What is this thing used for? What is it? Have you got any ideas? I should be. Again, I feel bad that I have not been able to get to uh, my notes to, to talk about stuff. A DM can insert treasure as appropriate to the campaign. This is this is why this is this is why there is no uh, treasure in it. I, I get it. I totally get it. It's that's true. That's very true. Four post bed is the bed with four posts often with a canopy uh-huh 21 the jade princess a statue of jade in the shape of a female golden dragon oh okay this is a this is sort of like an artifact isn't it it looks like it is this is what we're doing it is it is what we're doing okay all right keep going <sighs> 21 i chasing my tail here uh Anyway, paste. Jade Princess is a sculpture of made of jade. Jade, the shape of a female gold dragon. Okay. <clears throat> uh, okay. Right. So a little bit of a little bit of stuff going on there. <laughs> okay. Next, the creed is etched into the base of the statue in area one. The modified hand is in sixteen. Okay, so that's where that was supposed to go. It's got to go in 16. Both are used to unlock the magical lock door in 21. Oh my god. Uh, okay, I see where you're trying to go with this. So we've got a back door entryway, but yeah, okay, so this is this is this is a lot of information. So now I need to make sure the modified head is in the right place. And then I need to make sure this bit. Twenty one. Good lord, uh, twenty one is well secured. Uh, paste. Uh, the mummified, the mummified hand in and an area sixteen. Sixteen. the spoken spoken family creed and area one are are godly goes are both are are both both required to unlock the magical door. Okay, I got it. Unlock the magical door. Okay, all right. Whew. There's a lot going on there. Whew. Got it, though. Uh, so the MacGuffin that needs to be returned to Bahamut to... Uh, to cure the curse. Okay, this is a an adventure hook. This is the MacGuffin you were talking about. Okay, let's just drop this up the top here. There's a lot of jumping back and forth, people. Trust me. You try doing a live stream with a whole lot of people giving ideas on an adventure at the same time. It's a fun pr time, I tell you. Trying to trying to pull it all together. Uh, <laughs> next. 12. 12? What is 12? It's that... 
Oh, the janitor, janitor's closet. That was what I was thinking of. It's the janitor's closet. Um, Michael had a different idea. I don't know that the janitor's closet is going gonna, is gonna to work if Michael has all this other stuff going on. Uh, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that works. We always have a few rooms that are unfinished that need to be filled out, so I'm not really, really too worried about how this is all going to work. I'm sure I'm going to be able to find a place to stick it all in the end. Even if it's it's not necessarily okay, this is this is fine. Uh, room eight, Archer, Yuanti have found out how to affix rock grubs to arrowheads. Oh come on, come on! You can, be nice to your players. I mean that is that is some sick, sick stuff. You want to shoot rock grubs at them with an arrow? Oh my lordy! Okay, let me take your idea, because it may wind up in here, it may not. We'll see how I'm feeling. Um, sometimes, you know, sometimes I, it, it does, and sometimes it doesn't. You guys are ruthless. Roommate. Room 8. Rot grubs affixed to arrowheads. Of all things that you could can come up with. Hmm. Okay. All right. A son of. What is this? Instead of a son, of, who's the who's the son of Kyrus? I well, whose son are we talking about here? I'm not. I'm, it's it's a reference to something that I'm not aware of. Correct. There's something going on here. I got caught out on this last time. Somebody mentioned a name, and I was like, oh, "There's something this is attached to," and only to find it was attached to the um the Hebrew Bible. <laughs> Thanks, Pale Rider, by the way. It took me a little while, but I found out. When I was talking to AJ Pickett about it, um, he said, oh, do you want to know about that? And I said, yeah. And as I'm reading it, he's telling me, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> they shoot intellect of arrows at the intruders if they want to be really evil. Oh, God. Okay, all right. Michael, three. Three is overgrown. Overgrown rose bushes, tall as a human. With, I like this. I really like this. this is good. I'm taking that. And there, that means that we've got um, we've got a little bit behind it. Yes, coins. We actually have a door behind there, and and three. So um, so let's do this. Uh, paste. Okay, so the uh, tch -tch -tch. I'm just going to call it the southern door, southern door. Uh, and we've got overgrown rose bushes, tall as a human with th thumb-sized thorns, windy vines on the ground, moving and slithering, a glint of something shiny from deep within dead scavenger with coins of so you've got a lot of stuff going on here i can see i can see i'm going to have to unravel it a little bit but uh yeah i've got it 10 10 where is 10 10 10 is is like a part of a room that's partly collapsed or whatever the heck it is and it kind of leads into a passageway uh 10 Uh, so, stones are magically cooled. This was used as a pantry icebox room. Contains a few food golems. Oh, good lord! Here we go. Should have guessed. Ten is a cool, cool chamber. Correct. It's a cool chamber. Yeah, that chamber is cool. <laughs> cool pantry. And we'll drop in your information. The 
with stones. The stones are magically called. Called. Uh, to. This partially. Collapsed. Room. Uh, um, uh, this area. Let's go here. This area. This was used as a pantry it's a pantry and ice box box but now contains <laughs> but now contains a few food golems jeez okay all right um is it, is it a golem or is it an elemental? A few food elementals, golem and elemental. Okay. <sighs> right, there's a lot going on there. Whoosh, got there though. Uh, next. Wow. Ponkata. Hello, Pon is, it, is it Ponkata or did I screw up the name really badly? I need to do an update again, and I'm so far behind, it's not funny. Funny. Three, you've got continuing silver coins. You've got a lot of information going on here. Wow, Michael. Let's uh, let's drop it into third, um, three and see if I can dissect it a little bit later. Uh, what have you got here? You've written here, silver and gold um, spilled from the bag about about the uh, dead person vines attack any any that spend time picking up the coins and drag them into the thorn rose bushes, uh, crumbling side. Is from okay, all right, okay. I see what you're trying to do there. Okay, I got that. Um, he's got a lot going on here. Now, one, you're going to add in more stuff to the area. One has got so much stuff here. Add on the statue is a magical mouth recites the Baron Creed. Okay, magical mouth recites it. All right, you want a magical mouth? Fine. Uh, the Baron's Creed is carved into the ground level statue. Families. Uh, the Baron, um, the Baron family's creed is carved into the ground level statue. Statue, and is spoken. By a magical mouth. Magical mouth. Okay. I think I got that. Magical mouth. All the time. All the loot. All the time. Okay. <sighs> There's a lot going on here. Jeez. Next. I must put my chickens to bed. No no problem, Sam Fred Hubert. You go do your chicken, chicken stuff. I understand. Four. A manticore mated pair guards this entrance. Did you put a manticore right there? A manticore <laughs> in area four. Uh, working Fred tonight. He's uh, he's feeling the whip. I am. I am feeling the whip go hard, man. The whip, like, phew, you are not moving fast enough. I get the distinct feeling. All right, let's go here. A manticore made up here. I don't know about that. I don't know. I, I've got a. I've got a big. I got some questions. Why did they decide to do it in the in the middle of a doorway? <laughs> why is it? Why is it they're at the back there? And like, is there a nest built there or something? Um, this is cool. Reminds me of the old Gygaxian public co-op projects from Google Plus days. Does it? Well, I'm I'm glad you're enjoying it, Michael. Uh, let's keep going. Which tool should I use to make a D and D map like this? Oh. Um. Poncata, sorry, Poncata, if you're still here, let me let me show you the thing, because I can probably do that. Dave's Mapper. Dave's Mapper is not a map maker. It is just a, it's a a map tile builder. Okay, it is specifically just a map 
pile builder. And so you just cycle through stuff when you want to, to build your map. And this is what I do uh, before I do my live stream is I use Dave's mapper, which is this thing here. Okay, I'll put the link in the description in a second, in the, in the chat in a second. And you can just click on a, 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 anything you want and you can just shift and change those tiles to whatever you would like them to be. Okay, until you pick the thing that you want. You can have one as a dungeon, cave, you can have dungeon and cave, you can have side view dungeon, you can do a village, you can do a city, you can do a sci-fi spaceship, you can do a sci-fi city. I don't think the sci-fi ones are very good myself, but I mean you can use them if you want. There's different styles, you can pick and do your entire map in one style if you would like, but pick somebody who has a lot of different map tiles to go with, their, with this, otherwise it's not going to work very well. And you just pick what you want. So that's that's the gist of it. For uh, for those of you who are wondering what the heck am I using in terms of how do I create my map fast? That's the one. That's the one. Okay, let me just go back to here and get back to the the, the task at hand, which is to actually get this done in a reasonable time. Which I'm Manticore. I got up to Manticore and I got lost. Paste. I need to do another update. So Dave's mapper is now in the in there. Okay, there's the link. Go use it, people, because seriously, you'll get a lot more done. Um, sleeping with the chickens. Okay, it's okay. I thought 12 was a staging area between the kitchen and the dining room. <laughs> it's all right, because 15, 15, you've done 15, frankly. I think 12 that you've built in there is 15. So so what I'm going to do, Michael, is I'm going to take your, your ideas from 12 and I'm going to put it all into 15 because 15 has not been done. And so I'm I'm all for let's just cut all of that. The janitor's closet is easy to do. <laughs> and I don't know what 15 is supposed to be called. I don't know what we could call that location that you've created that was 12. But it now has all the information from there now in 15. Now some of it might sort of wind up having to change because of proximity and all that sort of thing. But yeah. I think that works probably the best way. Yep. Uh, okay. It makes dungeon maps from, yeah, geomorphs like this. Yeah, ge it's a, it basically it's a geomorph generator, yeah. Or huddled in the corner of the pen trying to get warm instead of getting out of the, the wind in the coop. Okay, so they're not doing too well. Also known as the sons of... Uh, all right, these creatures are, are a type zombie capable of... Rapidly spreading through undead condition of infection. So, can I just make it clear? All the zombies in my games spread in some sort of zombie rot or infection. It might not be a virus as, stuff, as such. It might be a disease. And you can say that's a virus as a disease. But this, even if it's a magical thing that passes on... All my zombies are going to be that they, they always do that sort of thing. Like that's this is this is this is the way. Like zombies aren't scary otherwise. They're just slow and really quite ponderous. <laughs> Fifteen, a dusty empty room. Well, I'm always I've added in empty rooms before, and we do have some places. Fifteen doesn't have to be an empty room though, because we got plenty of rooms that are empty <laughs> because there's nothing there. Like area two, now room two is a 20 sorry room 20 is empty there's nothing in there right now we've got nothing in 20 22 or in 26 26 is also empty so i'm i'm happy for room 20 to be an empty room Now, the, the, the fun thing, though, I think, is to make an empty room an empty room when there's a door that can be locked. And then you can seal yourself in there and uh, get up to mischief. Uh, whereas 20 is not really a sealable room. Maybe we won't do that. Let's let's see. Let's see. Um, oh, there's no 26. Why do I have 26? I've, I've bulled something up here along the way. 26. 24. 20. 20, 22, Cobalt Camp, get rid of this, there's something going on here, don't want that there, uh, 20, 22 could be a, what is 22, 
22 is this one here. Why? Oh, it's all moved. That's what it is. It's all blooming moved again. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, that's that's back to there. 24. 25 can be an empty room. Let's make 25 an empty room. Because it's, it's a room you can actually seal. Whereas 20... I don't really care about 20. Twenty could be anything under the sun. Uh, Twenty. Can we try that again? Uh -huh. <laughs> la, 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 la. Okay, it's an empty room. Okay, so I've, can I actually copy and paste your suggestion from there? It's an empty room. Da da da. Audiences. I don't know. Sofas from it was used to waiting room for audiences. That's way too far away, of course, because you. That's why you've had fifteen as being a. Oh, I see. Well, we can move the other room. Would it make sense that that would be an audience waiting area? Because it doesn't really have a link as such, does it? There's there's no real link as such to it. Uh, let me think. Nine could be... We haven't got... Did we, did we, did we know? Has nine been done? Did nine get done? Nine, 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 no, no, nine can be the, nine can be the waiting room. We can put the, we can put them in the right waiting room there. That's, that's a waiting room. Um, I think that's going to make much more sense as a, a waiting room as such. So, so how do we do this? Um, if you've got 15, dust empty, we put them in there. We'll put it in nine. It's a waiting room. Uh, paste. And I'm just going to call it the waiting room. Waiting chamber. Okay. The dusty empty room. Um, possible rest spot. Well, there are doors on it, so that's, that is a possible rest spot, I suppose. But let's see. Uh, has a few... A few rotten sofas and chairs. All right, a few rotten sofas and chairs. Chairs and was used as a waiting room for the royal audiences. Okay. Yeah, we leave them outside. We don't give them any protection. If they die, they die. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the deal, right? That's really it. Um, okay, we're actually, ooh, I don't know. We're doing pretty well, actually, as it, now that I think about it. Uh, one food golem is an ice cream that splits super, super, super cooled ice cream. You want an ice cream, an ice cream elemental. Okay. You can have an ice cream elemental in the cooling room, which is 10. 10 is the cooling room. You've got an ice cream elemental. Because they did make ice cream back then, didn't they? No, it's 10. It is 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Uh, this area was used for country and ice box. But now contains a few. Ice cream elementals. <laughs> is, is there such a thing? I don't know. <laughs> it's an ice cream elemental. Ice cream. A few ice cream elementals uh there we go that's good so generating maps yes this is i encourage people to use this splits spits freezer burn shards of ice cream oh my god here we go he's wanting to add a bit to his his uh okay all right let me just take this can i can i get this into one sentence this area was used as uh, a pantry, an ice box. Ice, ice box. Uh, ice box, but it's now. But, but 
now, but but can now, but now, but uh, the way I have to have the word now, now contains. Uh, spoiled food. A few ice cream elementals. <laughs> Spit. Spit freezer burn shards of ice, um, of ice. It's intruders. And that has certainly increased the weirdness of our adventure quite a bit. Uh, 11 should not be there. This is an old kitchen. Okay, right. Man, we did pretty well. Uh, I need to do an update, but I want to keep... keep uh, okay, um, let's do an update on what rooms and the entrances and things have need to be done. Both doors have normal locks. This leads to the lower um, caverns and also has the UNT gain access to the castle. Um, okay, I see what you're doing here. You're doing a you're doing a back to front door. It's a back to front door. Interesting. Four chained up NPC prisoners. And four chained up NPC prisoners of the UNT. Some have bite marks. Jeez. <laughs> We do have 20. We could put stuff in 20. Why do we have to put them in four? <laughs> anyway. Um, so five. Let's narrow down five. And then I'll do a, an update and show you what we've got. Whew, okay, so cave. Uh, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Five. Cave entrance. Have an entrance. Okay, so both both doors have normal locks and lead. Oops. And lead to the lower caverns. Uh, lower caverns. Caverns. Uh, these doors are how are how the Yuanti gain access to the castle. Okay, right. So I got that bit there done. That's nice. Uh, twenty chained up NPCs. I'm stacking them in twenty because we've got nothing in twenty. I'm pretty sure twenty is still empty. Empty as. Uh, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, where are you? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 sorry. 20, 20, 20, and 25 is still an empty room. We can actually make it a proper empty room. I might make it a actual just empty room. We don't have to have empty rooms everywhere, but one empty room is always nice. Um, and let's just sort of, this is the, um, I'll just call this the, I'm just going to call it the prison. Chained up NPCs. Prisoner you auntie have them. Uh, you auntie. Are they dead or are they alive? You auntie have bite marks on them. <laughs> they are probably vampires now. <laughs> Given that as being a possibility, I think that's definitely what's probably happened here. Anyway, um, let me go. Oh, geez. Okay, so. Hoo, 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 hoo. Okay, let's do an update. Let's do an update. I've got 15 minutes, which is probably less than 15 minutes. Both doors are on. 12. 20 is a prisoner. 20. Okay. Fish food. 20 is fish food storage, do you reckon? <laughs> and I think the people are fish food storage. If that, that's where we're going with this, I think that's essentially what has occurred. Okay, let's just have been experimented on. Uh, 
Oh, God. Have been experimented on and <laughs> on and sneeze green slime on the green slime on on intruders. Okay. All right. That is that is some uh, sneeze sneeze sneezes. Okay, I think that's that's the gist of it. Let's let's show you what we've got here. Okay, so you got an idea of how much we did in a very short space of time, and it has been a very short space of time, frankly. It has not been that long. We have mostly done all locations. Here we go. So here's our document from our map. We've got a few adventure hooks. That's something we could do with is a few more adventure hooks to help feed us into this location but I don't need to need to worry you about that too much because I usually do the adventure hooks later on anyway uh, but there's a couple of them here cursed family find the origins last owner blah 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 find the drade and the jade dragon as a MacGuffin da 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 Bahamut a cure for a curse uh, don't worry about wandering monsters deal with them later uh, main features of the castle, well, I mean, castles are castles, we'll deal with that. that. I think, again, that's something we don't need to worry too much about right now. But we have the grand entrance is number one. Number two is the smashed wall, which I didn't actually go into too much detail around, but I feel like that's going to wind up being a, a garden. There's going to be a garden out there and a smashed wall. So um, let's just see. Um, old um, dead garden question mark okay garden is in front in front in front of a smashed of a broken broken castle wall uh yeah we'll keep going with this keep going next three is the southern door and we've got overgrown rose bushes and a whole lot of other stuff which I haven't really kind of <laughs> figured out yet. We have four at the back is the broken door. Apparently there's a manticore mating there. I don't think that's going to be a very appropriate place for a manticore to be mating in the doorway. Um, five is the cave entrance that leads down into a cavern for the Yuanti. Six is the dead squatter in this chamber that's mostly broken and, and open. Uh, seven is the gardener's quarters with a hammock and some information and a dead uh, um, groundskeeper uh, we have a eight is an arch post or guard area uh, nine is a waiting chamber uh, with some rotten sofas ten is the cool pantry uh, eleven is the old kitchen twelve is a janitor's closet <laughs> thirteen is the guard room fourteen is the royal bedroom fifteen is I'm not too sure but Michael probably knows more I put a whole lot of stuff here we'll figure out what it is later on uh, sixteen is the grand hall or the great hall uh, this is where there are two thrones and we've got Yuanti vampires and a bunch of worshippers uh, we've got the the butt uh, the butt cellar uh, on 17, 18 is the court mage's corner, 19 is magic storage with potions and components, 20 is a prison uh, where NPCs have been chained up, we don't have the name of those NPCs but we'll deal with that later, 21 is very complicated with a treasure vault with a secret sliding wall and a very lot difficult to get through locked door and probably a lot of cool stuff in there and that is where the jade princess statue or sculpture is situated. Um, next we have 22 is the dragon chamber with a pool of water and fish and I need to describe the rest of it. Anti-magic glyphs are in here, bloody bloody blah, I'll figure out the rest later. 23 has a cobalt camp uh, that has been set up in the middle of the sort of corner room um, and attached to a um, hallway, two hallways. Uh, 24, we don't know what it is, but there's purple mold there. <laughs> and 25 is an empty room, and there's some notes here that I've got to figure out what to do with. So, yeah, yeah, not too bad. I would say we have mostly covered everything that we needed to in a very short space of time. And uh, yet again, just proves, can be done. Can be done. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to um, also share my Discord for those of you who are interested in checking out the Discord. It's not really, uh, my Discord is not like a, 
if you're a patron, you get access to my Discord. It's not really how it works. My Discord is just available, and if you are interested in hanging out there, this is where you, if you're going to jump jump into a, a chat with me and all other people, it's likely to be here. This is the place. Okay, if you're going to see a lot of the stuff that I've been working on, it's likely to be here. Um, otherwise, you're going to find most of the stuff that I write up is going to wind up in some sort of draft on Patreon. Okay, that's usually where it's going to wind up um, finding itself eventually. But the Discord is a good good start. And yeah, I'm going to end this poll and I'm going to end this live stream uh, because we have essentially done most of the work. I will finish up the rest. You're welcome, Michael. So if you, had, if you were wondering what this was all about, one, the idea is go use Dave's Mapper or a... Um, you know, a, a dungeon tile builder to build a map for your adventure very quickly. All I did to number it was I chucked it into paint and used the text function and just dropped the numbers in, okay? It's really easy, it's super simple, it's not that hard, okay? And then once we do that, we just number it and then we go through and we label each location and we give have a, a basic overall sort of adventure hook, maybe some wandering monsters, and some basic sort of features of the location. And we did most of that in roughly, I mean, at least the building of the adventure in about two hours. Just under two hours, it got done. Have you made a ruined castle adventure before? Yes, 52%. No, 33%. That no should be getting smaller now. Uh, incomplete, 9%. That should be getting smaller now. You can go finish it. You can do this. Uh, just watching 4% out of 21 votes. Cool. Now, I was hoping I was going to get a chance to go and talk about different castle locations, and I never did because I was chasing everybody else. But very quickly, very quickly, I'm just going to fire out a whole lot of different locations in a castle, whether it's ruined or not, that you can include. There's your Moton Bailey, which is basically... Your Motten Bailey, which is basically a big hill, okay? You have the Stone Keep. The Stone Keep's the central area, okay? Um, and then in terms of different parts of your castle, whatever it might be, there are usually fairly standard places within a castle that you want to include. And instead of explaining every single one of them, because I've done this before, there is the gatehouse if you have a big castle. You have the great hall, okay, with long tables, benches, fireplace usually, maybe even some thrones. Uh, you have a chapel or uh, you can have kitchens, you can have stables, you can have workshops and smithies that might be connected. Uh, you might just have a central tower as the keep and that's just a, a sleeping quarters and a hall. And this is kind of like, like, like what we're doing here. You might have a water well, you can have a bailey, which is just basically a huge courtyard really. It's just an open space. You can have um, security um, towers or guard towers. Uh, you can have a dungeon underneath, which is basically where you're gonna find your, your prison cells, your torture chamber, and your execution uh, room, okay? So the torture chamber, execution room, and that I've covered them before. The oubliette, which is basically uh, just a place where you leave people to die. Uh, we have the pantry, we have larders, it's very similar. Dining rooms, drawing rooms, bedrooms, storage rooms, ballrooms, libraries, bathrooms, cellar, the lavatory, or the the garter rope, uh, you have the ice house, you have the solar room, um, a boa room, you have wardrobes, you can have a port colour section, you can have throne rooms if you want to have it separated from your great hall. You have the buttery, which is what we called, um, um, dealt with today. You can have a bottery, there's a buttery, like as in butter, and there's a bottery as in bottle, okay? You have the casement, you can have place of arms, an undercroft, a war room or a map room, kennels, uh, dovecots for keeping birds, an aviary, which is sort of similar, I guess, in many respects, um, cabinets, boudoirs, gardens, wastewater disposal, maybe you won't have that, maybe you just throw it out the window, um, escape routes, tunnels, bloody bloody but like, there's, there's heaps of stuff, there's heaps of stuff that goes into it. Did I go into too much information? Probably, but castles are made up of lots of different things, depending on the type of castle that you've got. Anyway, I am done, I am spent, I am ready to go. I can assure you that I have nothing left. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. We will be back next week, same day, same time, same bat channel. 
same how to rpg channel i mean uh and we'll be doing exactly the same sort of thing with a new map it won't be a castle it'll be something else because that's what i do here we change it up as much as we possibly can keep doing something a little bit different i believe next week we're going to be doing a dungeon that's right the traditional dungeon if you want to explore a dungeon we're going to create some sort of dungeon location uh so yeah thank you for being here Thank you for watching and listening. Thank you for taking part in the poll. Thank you for taking part in the live chat. I want to thank all of my patrons who support me on Patreon because without you, it is just not possible. But thank you to Michael Frank, um, Freku, uh, Pale Rider, Fred Huber, who's a patron. Uh, I want to thank, uh, who was it? Um, uh, Pon Carter, I think it's Pon Carter. <sighs> Man, okay, I'm not great at this sort of Cal Rell. Um, and we had a bunch of other people in here, which I'm, I'm, I'm going to struggle. Derp has been hanging out and providing with us with some suggestions. Pale Rider's done a huge amount of work, so has Fred Huber. <laughs> Let's get real. There's been a huge amount of ideas coming through from them. Um, and if I have missed you, it was not my intention to do so. I try to call out everybody if I can in the chat. Uh, Michael Riggs was here as well, by the way. So wherever you are in the world, whether it be the morning, the afternoon, or the night, please look after yourself, your family, and your friends. Um, be nice to your neighbours. Oh, prepare, cook, and survive. I almost forgot about you. I almost forgot about you. But I haven't. I just mentioned you now, didn't I? Yeah, exactly. Um, so be nice to your neighbours, and hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s.